Seth has typhoid! Yay! Congratulations, my friend! Hello, I am Radioactive Paradox, and welcome to the Oregon Trail, which is an old game from the 90s that was actually recommended by my social studies teacher today. Uh, not to actually record, but, uh, that if we took a, a picture of our... Uh, score th and we would get some extra credit. So I figured and turn it into a video with extra credit. Let's do this. Okay. Let us begin. Now, this is an emulator, of course, because, yeah, it has to be. I'm on my computer. So, we shall begin. <coughs> <coughs> this most glorious specimen. Let's put on. I mean, just waiting, just waiting. Trouble the trail. Let's do this. Okay, many kinds of people made the trip to Oregon. One, be a banker from Boston. Two, be a carpenter from Ohio. Uh, I did go uh, and look uh, to see what was the most difficult one. And I'm actually going to do that. And that's going to go really well because of my track record with difficult things. So, let's be a farmer. Yeah. Start out with the least amount of money. Uh, the wagon leader, of course, my name. Cool. And I will be joined by my uh, YouTube crew people. I don't know why the audio won't work. Whatever. Uh, but I'll be joined by my YouTube friends. Luis from Louie Chewy. Ben from Cybernet. Seth from the Sapphire Warlord and Izzy from uh Kid what was Violin Kitten I don't know why I forgot that are these names correct? yes they are okay it is 1848 you are you're jumping off you're jumping off place for Oregon is Independence, Missouri. You must decide which month to leave Independence. And if, uh, you see, because this involves what we were doing in social studies, I am going to apply the knowledge I learned from it. Uh, so, leave early spring, if I remember correctly, and that would be April, kind of-ish. I don't even know when spring, spring starts. Before leaving Independence, you should buy equipment and supplies. You have $400 in cash, but you don't have to spend it all now. Okay. You can buy whatever you need at Matt's General Store. So, uh... Call Hello, I'm Matt. So you can like the Oregon. I can fix you up with what you need. A team of oaks and the bully or wagon clothing for both summer and winter. Press space bar to continue. Hello! Okay... Plenty of food for the trip, ammunition for your rifle, spare parts for your wagon. Cool! So, first off, the oxen. So, two oxen in a yoke, I recommend at least three yoke. Forty dollars per yoke. I'll go with two yoke, this is probably good. Then for food, let's go to that. I recommend you take at least 200 pounds of food for each person in your family. I see that you have five people in all. You'll need flour, sugar, bacon, and coffee. My price is 20 cents a pound. So, I need a thousand pounds because 200 per person, 200 times five, that's a thousand. Let's do this. So far, my bill is $280. That's more than half of my money. So next off, clothing. Clothing. You'll need warm clothing in the mountains. I recommend taking at least two sets of clothes per person. Each set will cost ten dollars. So ten dollars. Okay, I five people. dollars. I'll just go with five sets, one for each. Not too expensive. That way we still have seventy dollars. That's great. Let's go for ammunition. Uh, twenty dollars, twenty bullets. Each box costs two dollars. 
I'll go with five. That's a good number. Uh, so then we can have, we can use the rest of our money on spare parts. So let's do that. So I have sixty dollars left. So how many wagon wheels? I'll go with two. I'll go with two for each. That seems good. I have no money, but that should be fine. Uh, spacebar to leave the store. Well then, you're all ready to start. Good luck. You have a long and difficult journey ahead of you. I love the way I keep changing this guy's voice. It's quite impeccable. That was loud. I need to turn that down. April 1st, 1848. Okay, weather is cool, health is good, pace is steady, rations are filling. Continue on the trail. From Independence, it is 102 miles to the Kansas River Crossing. Press enter to size up the situation. Okay, there's the river. We are going to the river. We are going to the river. We have made it to the- You are now at the Kansas River Crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes! Yes, I would. April 7th, Kansas River Crossing, 1848. Okay, weather cool, health good, okay. So, crossing... I'm going to continue on the trail. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently 635 feet across and 5.7 feet deep in the middle. Okay, I'm going to cock the wagon and float it across. I think I'll do that. It's hopefully not going to completely destroy all of my supplies. Come on! When you can make it, you can make it! Yes! You had no trouble floating the wagon across! How elegant! From the Kansas River crossing, it is 82 miles to the Blue River crossing. Let's go! Da 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 da. So let's continue. Let's continue. It is April 12th, uh, April 13th, and we've made it to the river. You are now at the Big Blue River crossing. Would you like to look around? Yes, yes, I would. Big Blue River crossing, April 13th, 1848. Uh, weather cool, all good, pay steady, rations feeling. Uh, I say continue, let's do this. You must cross the river in order to continue. The river at this point is currently okay. Cool! Uh, Temperature for the river, cock the wagon and afford to float across. Wait to see if conditions improve. Get more information. To ford the river means to pull the wagon across the shell part of the river with the oxen still attached. To cock. Okay. Didn't know that's all I was gonna do. I thought it would maybe give me more options because I'd like investigate all of it. But I guess we'll ford. <coughs> Let's see how well this goes. Come on, don't die. Hey, don't die. Don't. Oh no. Lost almost all of my bullets. This is going great! From the blue river crossing, it is 118 miles to Fort Gurney. Let us continue our way. I'm going to size up the situation. Continue on the trail. Just thinking about what is occurring and deciding what to do. So far, this has gone gloriously. Ah, damn it. It's not good. I don't want to lose the trail and die. Oh my god! Oh my god, size of the freaking situation. Stop for a rest. We're clearly out of our minds and going to die if we don't rest soon. Let's just rest for three days and continue on the trail. You are now at Fort Gurney. Would you like to look around? Yes. Fort Gurney, April 28th, 1848. Fort Gurney, weather good. Cold? That's probably not good. Okay, continue on the trail, check for supplies. Attempt to trade. So, oxen, three sets of clothing, five. Well, I only have eight bullets! 
Oh my god! It's horrible. We need one other immigrant who wants to trade one wagon tongue. She will trade you 49 bullets. Yes, that sounds like a good trade because I have like no bullets. But I'll still have a tongue, and that's good. Let's continue on the trail. From current Fort Kearney, it is 250 miles to Chimney Rock. Let's -a go! It's me. You find an abandoned wagon, but it is empty. Damn it. I was hoping there could be Genj or something. Oh, that's really not good. Oh. Seth is. has. Typhoid. What's typhoid? One moment. You know? Screw it! Maybe. One moment, I'm going to check what typhoid is. Ah! What is typhoid? What is typhoid? Typhoid, an infectious bacterial fever with an eruption of red spots on the chest and abdomen and severe intestinal irritation. Okay, so typhoid isn't good. Um... I think just continue on the trail, which should be good. Oh god, no! It's already May 5th! Ah, oh, the weather's rainy. All this fair. Okay, okay, size of the situation. Uh change food rations. Okay. I'm gonna make meals meager, um, and then uh, I'm gonna look at the map. Okay, so cool, cool. I think I'm gonna stop to rest for a day. Okay, uh, let's continue. Let's go. Get a gift faster, faster, faster. Oh yeah, it's very rainy. It's cool. Okay, we are running very low on food. Very low. If it gets to two hundred, I'll probably make it bare bones. Uh, you are now at Chimney Rock. Would you like to look around? Yes, yes, I would. Check for supplies. Check for supplies. So I have no money, so I can't buy anything. Just I just wanted to look. Um, stop to rest. Talk to people. Let's do it. Also, Delano tells you about noon yesterday we came inside of Chimney Rock, looming up in the distance like the lofty tower of some town. We did not die our gaze. We did not die gazing on it. It was about twenty miles from us and stayed in sight till we reached it today. Cool. Let's just continue on the trail. Let's go. From Chimney Rock, it is eighty-six miles to Fort Lamari. Speaking is very difficult, I must say. It is very, very, very difficult. Ben has exhaustion. That probably isn't good. We should stop for a rest. Uh, let's do that. Uh, let's rest for four days. Seems like a good idea to me. And then we can change pace. Uh, steady pace, uh, strenuous pace, early pace. Okay, steady is good. It's good. Uh, continue on the trail. Let's go. You pass a gravesite. Would you like to look closer? Yes, yes, I would. 
Here lies Volant. Hey, hey, hey. Come out and play! Well, that's an interesting statement. He was most likely a pedophile. Okay, you are now at Fort Lamari. Would you like to look around? Yes, yes, I would. Okay! So, weather is cool, health is fair, pace is steady, rations are meager. Okay. I'm going to attempt a trade. Okay, you meet another immigrant who wants one ox. He will trade you one set of clothing. And no, I do not accept that trade. If I had money, I certainly would buy supplies, but I have no money, so, um. Let's continue. From Fort Rory, it is 190 miles to Independence Rock. Let's go! Find wild fruit! Kill! Ooh, our food rations are getting pretty low. Um, uh, change food rations. Bad bones. Let's go. Let's go. Just you find a bandit wagon with the following: forty-two bullets and one wagon wheel. How glorious! That is actually really, really good. That should be super helpful down the road. Health is fair, weather is hot, that's probably not good. We are running so low. Oh, yay! Luis! Of course! Why must you have a fever? Why do you do this to me every time? First, you just died once. It's rude, okay? It's just rude. Health is poor. Ben has a fever, too. This is going great! Find wild fruit. That is good. That added some food. God, I, I don't think we're gonna have enough food. You find a abandoned wagon with two sets of clothing. Cool. Continue. You are now at. Would you like to look around? Yes, I would. Nice, cool Independence Rock. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to attempt to trade. Okay, you meet another immigrant who wants one ox. She will trade you. I don't want bullets. I want food or money. Other one works. More so food, so that I mean money, so that way I can buy food at the next place to go. Uh, no, I will not be willing to trade. Uh, let's go. From Independence Rock, it is 102 miles to South Pass. Let's go. Our health is poor. We're most likely going to die. It's great. That's great. Oh, yeah. Izzy is lost. Lose four days. Izzy, goddammit! Every time! Why? Why are you summon that shit? Why are you dipshit? Even in games, you're a dipshit. Why? Inadequate grass. Yeah. Wrong track. God damn it! Oh my god, I have like no food! Ba oh! Yay! Maybe a little water. You want to know so fast? Would you like to? Look? Yes, I want money or something or food. Uh, adapt to trade. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, no. Screw you, though. Let's go. Let's go. The trail divides here. You may head for the Green River Crossing. Head for Fort Bridger. See the map. So Fort Bridger. Okay, so cool, cool, cool. So what were the choices? Green River Crossing or Fort Bridger? Where's the Green River Crossing? I think we'll go for the Green River Crossing. Okay, 57 miles. God damn it, no, is Noda would be a river? Noda! God, we're all gonna die soon! Luis has dysentery. Okay, I 
think I might know what distant area is, but I'm not exactly sure. Let's see what you have, Luis! Let's see what you have! How could we all die next? What is dysentery? Dysentery, infection of the intestines, resulting in severe diarrhea with the presence of blood and mucus in the feces. Okay. I, I suspect it was something like that. Not exactly that, but something like that. Uh, inadequate grass. You won't know it's great enough for crossing. What would you like to work on? Yes! I need anything that is food, please! I will eat my friends if I don't get food! Um. Attempt to trade! Someone give me food! Screw you! Um. Oh no. Change food rations. Can I just not feed anyone? Four! Four! Just don't give anyone food! God damn it. Well. Let's continue! You must cross the river in order to continue. Okay, 20 feet deep! Oh my god! Um, let's cock the wagon. That seemed to work before. Don't die! Don't die, don't die, don't die! Don't die, don't die! Yes! Sweet cocking! It's always the best strategy! From Green River Crossing, it is 143 miles to Soda Springs. Cool. A thief comes during the night and steals 48 bullets. All I want is food! I have no food! We're all gonna starve to death! We also have no water! Luis has cholera! Okay! Luis has- I mean, Izzy has measles! Oh no! We're gonna be dead in like three days! Luis! No! Luis! Why did you have to let yourself die? So let's just have a moment of silence and remember... Luis! I think he's dead. Yeah, he died. I'll- I'll go dispose of the body. Come on, Luis. <laughs> Let's continue. This probably isn't good. We have no food. Ben has cholera! This is just- Jess is gone now, just great. A fire- Oh my god! Lost of sick- I don't think I even had six I didn't even have six sets of fall then! I do wait axles! Izzy has died! God damn it! That's two down! Izzy! And Louise! <laughs> Silence! And a forever of Izzy! <laughs> uh, let's get in and I just fell off a tree! Don't die! It's not advisable! Uh, she did nothing to help us! Uh, uh. Okay, let's continue! We're all gonna die! There's like no- Seth has typhoid! Yay! Congratulations, my friend! You got typhoid! Mmm! This is going to glory! Ah, oh, Seth is lost! Lose three days! Screw you! Ben has died! God damn it! Ben! Hey! <laughs> Just remember all the good times! I'm going through the middle. No, that's too dangerous. Too many. Uh, it looks I like there's less. Sword. No, oh, no, no, no! Oh, Chris, Chris, you're gonna die. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're, dead. you're being targeted oh. by way too many. Wait, you're dead. You can't remember anything. God damn it! Let's <sighs> well, silence for the dead man. That's enough. Let's continue. <sighs> you know, I've decided something. Hunt? I didn't know I could hunt for food! Oh my god! Someone should have told me this before half my crew died! More than half! Three people are dead! It is literally just me and Seth left! God! I'm horrible! I'm horrible! <laughs> I killed so many people. <sighs> I need to start or stop walking to put the rifle in.
Cool. Got him. God damn it, why do I keep shooting like that? God damn it, bear! God damn it. From the animals you shot, you got 57 pounds of meat. Okay, that's food. That's good. That's a good thing. Let's continue. Come on, Seth! <coughs> we can survive! Probably not. We're gonna die soon, Seth. We're gonna die. You are now at Soda Springs. Would you like to look around? Yes, yes, I would. Okay, okay, okay. Attempt to trade. See if we can. God damn it! Oh my god! This is not good. This is not good. From Soda Springs, it is 57 miles to Fort Hall. We're gonna all die. Seth is gonna explode with viruses. God damn it! As we said, he got measles. Seth, stop getting measles. That's rude. God damn it. Some. God damn it, Seth! I told you not to die. You left me all alone. Why? Why did you die? Everyone is. Fuck around the All oh, my friends are dead. God damn it. I didn't like him anyways. <sighs> oh, sure. I'm alone. Everyone I ever knew or loved is dead. Yay. That's my favorite. Um, attempt to trade. You meet another immigrant who has one wagon, Holly. <sighs> nope. I'm fine, sir. Attempt to trade is a different thing. Oh my god. It's different. It. Screw you, too! Continue on the trail. I'm all alone. Fine, wild fruit. Thank you. Oh my god. This is how you keep food. God damn it. I got measles. You know. This isn't going well. It's really... It's really not... Oh my god! I'm just gonna be completely torn apart by nature. I just got a freaking snake bite! It's not a good thing. I have died! Okay, mm, my epitaph, my epitaph, my epitaph. What should my epitaph be? Yes, I would. It's perfect. It's perfect! Nope! It looks glorious! All of the people in your body have died! Oh, yay! Well! Well... I'd say that went really, really well!